everybody, welcome to our second video log of 2019. Um, my name is Dan Cudliff, Managing Director of Pangea, um, and it's lovely to have you join us. Um, it's kind of weird for me because normally I'd be doing video logs every month, um, but we've decided to kind of go down the route of um, every quarter, and this would be a reflection on what I guess would be our quarter one um, uh, previously. So, why, why change to quarterly? Well, we've introduced um, a podcast which we've called IoT Insider um, and we've delivered two previously and we've just recorded the one um, just recently which involves myself, Bernie McPhillips, our sales director, and Chris Ramika, our ops director, talking about the ins and outs of Mobile World Congress um, and particularly focusing on some of the secret bars. So if you do want to learn a bit more about Mobile World Congress, IoT, uh, but also about secret bars in Barcelona. I do recommend that you catch that. It'll be available very, very soon. Um, but on to matters at hand. Uh, this quarter has been uh, pretty pretty exciting for us, as most of them are. But in particular, we're, we're, we're very excited to be announcing we've had three new hires come in this quarter. Uh, we've beefed up the operations team. So we've added uh, Juan Pablo, who is a network engineer. We've added Namesh, who is in our... Uh, support and second line engineer as well as uh, Nini who are also in our second line support. So we're beefing up the operations team. Um, Chris has never had to manage as many people before so it's getting all exciting um, and uh, we've added uh, as I said more to that side particularly to support partners um, as we see them grow and us handling that support. So a big welcome to those guys. Uh, it's great to have them on board. Um, some of the other exciting things that we can announce is that we've been made a triple finalist in the Comms Dealer Sales and Marketing Awards, which will be um, held later on uh, in May, I believe. And uh, so the three awards that we're up for is um, Sales Team of the Year. Um, we had a phenomenal year last year with many, many thanks to our partners, but also my team has been incredible, uh, run by Bernie and done a good job. So, you know, we've, we've, we've well exceeded our targets and, you know, more than doubled the business. So um, hopefully we get the recognition at the awards for that. Uh, the other two finalists that we are in is uh, for the marketing campaign of the year. Um, and that was particularly focused on some of the products we brought to IoT, um, things that help drive efficiencies like our Fitbit for building product, um, connected car, things like that. So we, so we spoke a lot about that. Um, and kind of off the back of that, we, we thought it was good to enter the marketing team of the year as well. Uh, so we're finalists there. So sales team, uh, marketing campaign, and marketing team of the year um, at the awards. And obviously best of luck to everyone else who is a finalist as well. Many of them we know very well. Um, and that should be a good sort of afternoon that spreads into the evening for everybody. Um, some of the other things that went on. So two slash three key events in this quarter, obviously, um, it was Smart IoT London. Chris wrote a pretty exciting blog about Smart IoT London where he references things like Connected Beer um, again and sort of what else is going on uh, technology wise. Um, Smart IoT London is, is usually one of the good events to go to um, at down at the Excel. So uh, we wrote a bit about that and if you want to catch up on that, please do. Um, and recently we were a gold sponsor alongside companies like Samsung at the Margin in Mobile event which was held at the Northampton um, Hotel and I was um, fortunate enough to kind of talk on stage for a little while to some of the attendants. We had about 80, 90 delegates there uh, and spoke particularly about, you know, how do you actually make money in the Internet of Things or, or kind of margin using mobile services and, and, and so we see ourselves as very much a key part of that, adding loads of value to what traditional mobile doesn't really always have so much anymore. Um, a big part of my focus was uh, talking about how you uh, talk to your clients about an IoT strategy, but also three key kind of big players for us. You know, um, multi-network is a big player for Pangea this year, um, both commercially, but also just the reason why it works so well um, is something we spoke about and the capability around that. Um, our partners are using it extensively and it's, you know, really kind of ticking the boxes. Um, the other one was which we are obviously the finalists for, for the uh, marketing campaign, which is our uh, Fitbit for Buildings product. Um, really simple sort of solution that you can introduce to all of your clients, um, building monitoring and learning about what the building does to try and drive efficiencies. Um, is really kind of the intent, what the intent of things is about, you know, monitoring a device or, or something, connecting it to the internet and then driving some sort of efficiency or return of that investment. Um, and I also spoke about probably one of the biggest bugbears in the industry, which is Ethernet takes a very long time to provision. Of course, we have our product Instanet and Pre-Ethernet that works really, really well, um, delivering 
I guess your instant product ahead of your ethernet almost immediately. So a um, couple of things we focused on there. Um, the event was well attended. Uh, we've had something like 48 meetings between the three of us, myself, Lisa, Harold, and Bernie. Um, we were really busy and the follow-ups are continuing. So I just want to say thank you to the delegates for joining and of course thank you to Commerce Dealer for setting it up. Um, finally, uh, the other event was obviously Mobile World Congress, um, which I've not covered so much in this video log, but a whole 20, 22 minute session um, with Bernie and Chris talking about things like, you know, where are the opportunities that have come out of Mobile World Congress? What are the things that you as a potential Pangea partner or just someone interested in what, you know, the mobile market can do for you um, can bring? We focus a lot on the differences between last year and this year. Uh, we focus a lot on IoT, 5G and artificial intelligence, which together make up intelligent connectivity and why intelligent connectivity is important. Um, so, yeah, several things sort of discussed um, on the podcast. But, you know, all in, um, pretty good start to the, to the year. Um, we'd really encourage anyone who's thinking about what the Internet of Things can do, um, how it might help your business uh, kind of grow, how it can kind of add extra margin or value to what you do today in talking with your customers. Please do get in touch. The details are at the bottom of um, uh, the video log, which, which, which will be on, on YouTube. Um, but without that, um, look forward to speaking to you next quarter where we'll be talking about more events, more growth and um, potentially some new hires as well. So uh, that's me, Dan Cunliffe, Managing Director of Pangea. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we'll speak again soon.